Welcome back guys to another brand new video. Today I have for you a solo money glitch. If you guys saw my previous video on how to store BMX bikes in the facility, you need to do that before you do this solo money glitch, okay? Unfortunately, putting BMX bikes in your facility is a two player job. So the setup for this is two player, which is in another video, but the glitch itself is a solo money glitch, okay? So what you need for the solo money glitch is, and by the way, that link, I'll put that down in the pinned comment if you want to know how to get BMX bikes in your facility. It's mad easy, all right? You just need a friend to help you out, but it's super, super quick and easy. All right, so what you need is a facility, and I'd recommend filling up your facility with BMX bikes completely in the car slots like you see right here. I have two that I'm going to do in this video. Uh, go ahead and throw yourself in an invite-only session, but it's much more laggy in a public session that's actually where i did this glitch i did it in a public session now you can either have the one retro custom or whatever benny's vehicle you're duping you can have it in your facility or you can throw that into your moc all right so obviously you need an moc with the personal vehicle storage xbox i recommend you go into free game because you're going to need a friend in another charging mode playstation can use a recent activity and um yeah you don't need custom plates for this guys you get fresh plates every single time and they're clean it's actually crazy what i got in this video you can take a look but uh yeah if your if your retro is inside of your facility the one you're using then you want your moc to be empty all right you want it to be empty the personal vehicle storage you don't want anything in there but if you want to throw your retro in the moc you can do that but you got to use that retro all right You'll see what I mean, all right? You just don't want to get the MOC fuller. You don't want to get that. So what you need to do now is go ahead and park your MOC to a point where you won't get the drive-in animation, okay? So you want to park it up kind of like against the wall, but still able to have the blue circle like you see right there. I know 100% I won't get the drive-in animation because it's too close to a wall. That ramp has to come down. That ramp has no space, so it'll just turn black. But that's what you want, okay? So you need to position it. Now, my MOC for this first one is completely empty, okay? Completely empty because this retro is over, fr is you know, from my facility. So remember, any B and Benny's vehicle will work. Just make sure you're duping Benny's vehicles, nothing else, all right? So here's the name of the game. What you want to do is you want to get the right D-pad option. PlayStation, go ahead and get a recent activity ready so that you can double tap very quickly. So PlayStation, it's super easy. It's like the gift cards to friends. You tap right on the D-pad, double tap the PS button, activate the recent, and decline it really quickly. Okay, so decline the recent right away and then hold R2. That's what you're doing on PlayStation. Xbox, much more tricky. You need to join a friend in another targeting mode. So I have a friend here that I know is in another targeting mode. I'm gonna go ahead and try to join him, all right? So once I try to join him, I need to make sure that I'm getting the alert, I'm accepting it and declining it. Now, I accepted both of them right there. I kind of screwed up. So on this next one right here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get the right D-pad option. And I'm gonna try a few things. Now the timing on this is horrendous on Xbox, but I was able to hit it twice for the video. So you wanna hit right on the, or you wanna first join your friend, and then you wanna hit right on the D-pad right before the alert comes up. So check it out on this one, I'm gonna try to spam, I believe. So I spam it, and then the alert doesn't even pop up. Like look how long it takes. I ended up pressing right D-pad, and it takes forever to that alert for that alert to actually pop up. So I'm loading into the MOC, and now check it out. I'm actually gonna go ahead and get into the vehicle. I have my options right there. I'm just gonna accept the first alert and decline the second one and drive back out. Now it's okay for the for the vehicle, you know, to be in the MOC as long as there's nothing else in there right now. So you see, I can try again even if I drove into my MOC with this same car. So I'm gonna try one more time here and let's see if it works. So I'm gonna go to join game. So I spammed on it, and then I tried to press right D-pad, but look, you see it doesn't let you actually hit the right D-pad option. So it just, you gotta find your timing. This is what I found to work on Xbox, at least for me. So check it out, listen. I just pressed join game twice. So I just hit AA, and then I close the dashboard with the Xbox button, and I wait 10 seconds. And then I press right D-pad at around 10 seconds, and check it out. Boom, accept the first alert, decline the second, hold right trigger, all right? Hold right trigger right away, so you're holding the gas. That's how I was able to hit my timing twice in this video, okay? You need to check to see if that will work for you, but that's how I got it to work. So you just hold right trigger the whole time. It's about 30 to 40 seconds until your MOC reappears. Then you can go ahead and let go. So PlayStation, you guys are doing the same thing. You're just declining that recent and then holding RT, or sorry, R2, until, you know, until the allotted amount of time. Now check it out. You know your car's glitched out because look, I don't have a personal vehicle icon right there around my vehicle. So this car is completely glitched out, which is what we want to see. 
So once our vehicle is glitched out, all you want to do is go ahead and drive this over to your facility. So I'm going to take it over to my facility and just park it outside. Don't drive it in. Just park it outside. Check out the plate. You see it says VTE, you know, whatever. Um, that won't really matter. You're going to see why later on. But yeah, go ahead and just walk back into your facility. So once again, we're going to skip forward through this, uh, you know, boring animation that I've probably seen now a thousand times. But uh, yeah, so now... Once you're in the facility, do not press left trigger or right trigger whatsoever, all right? So don't press L2 or R2 at all. Grab one of the BMX bikes and you can tap X on PlayStation or A on Xbox and you can just tap that or hold it to actually ride around. And you want to take it to this location. Remember, do not press the, the gas or reverse. So no, no triggers. Don't press any of the triggers while you're in the facility until I tell you to do so in the video. So you want to make your way over to the orbital cannon, okay? Um, yeah, I'm going to put a, t you know, a text in the uh, beginning of the video. I forgot about the orbital cannon part. But uh, yeah, so you want to drive over to the, or ride over to the orbital cannon part. And this is the easiest way to get it. So go ahead and just drive up to the first, you know, to the beginning or the front of it right here. Hop off, get the right D-pad option, hop back on. And there we go. We have the right D-pad option. What you need to do is press right D-pad and right trigger or R2 on PlayStation at the same exact time. So just, I would say you can tap them, you can press them and hold them for a couple seconds. It's up to you, but it should look something, you know, like this. There you go. So right D-pad and right trigger. So right D-pad and gas at the same time. All right. Once you press those at the same time, you should spawn outside on foot just like this and get into your vehicle and you're going to see the plate change right before your eyes. Look at this. Boom. I actually got a blank plate, guys. Check this out. I didn't even think that I was going to get this doing this glitch. I've seen another video where somebody else did it and they actually got just a fresh generic plate. My plate came out blank. If somebody would like to explain to me why my plate came out blank, let me know. Um, but I will assure you, these are clean duplicates, all right? Because I actually show you proof at the end of the video, taking it to LSC and showing you I still have plate options. So I'm telling you, this is a this is a clean duplicate with a blank plate on it, all right? It's actually a clean blank pay, a plate, which I'm very happy I got that on there, all right? You know, those are very rare. Clean blank plates are super, super rare. I'm going to try to get this onto like a Yankton, you know? So then you take it to your MOC and you just save it, all right? So the vehicle is completely saved in the MOC. Now, if you want to rinse and repeat, you can use that same retro right there that was in the that you just saved in the MOC. So check it out. And remember, you still have to have a BMX bike for each dupe, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and just grab that vehicle again. And we're going to do the same thing one more time, all right? And look, I hit it back to back, guys. So I'm going to go ahead and open up my dashboard hit join game twice on my friend boom close the dashboard with my xbox button and look at the timer it's pretty much almost the same exact time again i'm gonna wait around 10 seconds and then hit right d-pad so check it out i hit right d-pad the alert came in accept it decline accept the first decline the second hold right trigger radar is all screwed up you got loading in the bottom right you wait here for 20 30 40 seconds however long it takes so PlayStation, you guys know, recent activity, decline the alert, hold uh, R2, okay? And we're just holding it until the MOC reappears like that, and there we go. We can let go, and once again, you just check your car to make sure that you don't have a personal vehicle icon. So you see, if I open up my map and I look around, no personal vehicle icon, this car is glitched out successfully. Okay, once your car is glitched out successfully, you want to go ahead and drive it over to the facility. All right, and I took a risk at first, you know, thinking that maybe... Uh, this car like I, I almost knew for sure that the car was clean because even BMX bikes have plates on them For some reason these just came out blank, but every vehicle in the game has a license plate even if you don't see it Okay, that's just a fact So you want to take this over to your facility and we're gonna do the same thing over again Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and just park it right outside I changed my vehicle access because I had some friends watching me just in case they were deciding to steal it or whatever so um yeah, once we load in there, same thing. Once you're in the facility, do not at any time press RT or LT, and that's R2 or L2 on PlayStation, okay? Do not press any of the triggers. Once you get on the bike, just use the, you know, the X or A button to tap, you know, so that you can drive or just, you know, hold it so that you can just ride normally, okay? Keep saying drive, you know, you ride a bike, all right? So that you can ride this all around, all right? So and now we're going to head over to the orbital cannon and we're going to do the same thing. I'm just going to park it right up on, on the front one, get out of it, get the right D-pad option, and then just hop back on. And you see I have the right D-pad option. Then you want to press right D-pad and right trigger at the same time, right D-pad and R2 on PlayStation at the same exact time. Once you've done that, 
you will load you know outside on foot okay and you're not going to see the plate change here obviously because it's you know it's just another blank plate but that did get a fresh blank plate on there all right for some reason it's not it's not like giving me generic plates they're just giving me blank plates but they're clean trust me so i went and i saved it in my moc boom i have a saved duplicate if you wanted to do the glitch again you could you could literally just go ahead and do the glitch one more t uh, again with that vehicle as long as you have a bmx bike in your facility okay so now what you want to do is go ahead and actually well i'm taking it to lsc and i'm going to show you that this car is indeed clean okay it's a clean duplicate look i have all my plate options if this car was dirty i wouldn't have my plate options i have all my custom plates right there and i can put them on this car okay i could sell it right now if i wanted to but prior to making this this part of the video i had already sold the car so and you know the new time you gotta wait an hour now so I'm just going to go ahead and leave LSC and I'm even going to prove to you this was the car from the MOC. Now I'm taking the car from the facility. All right. The car that I had transferred from the uh, facility before that. So this is the car with the other blank plate. My friend was just showing me this is an old car I gave him, with, you know, an old stream from Give Cars to Friends. And uh, yeah, so now I'm going to go ahead and take this car to LSC and I'm going to prove to you once again that this one's also clean. So I have two cars with blank plates that I got from this glitch and look, I have all my plate options. So I'm not dupe detected. These aren't dirty dupes, nothing like that. These are brand new clean plates. Let me know if you guys get, you know, custom or, you know, generic plates like number plates or if you get blank plates because I don't know. I think it's mixed, man. I got blank plates. I saw somebody else get generic plates, but they're clean. So don't worry about it. All right. But that's going to be it for me, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Another solo money glitch for everybody to take advantage of. Make sure you subscribe to the channel by hitting that big red button. Turn on post notifications and drop a fat like on this video and the rest of my videos for the freshest and the most informative dope GTA 5 online content. Peace out, everybody. Road to 25K. You know what it's about. Let's keep it going.